Hello and welcome to the Combed K UGET 2024 and Uni Gauge E 2024 registration and application video. This video is designed to help you with online registration and application process for the Combed K and Uni Gauge 2024 examination. Application form can be submitted online by following a three step process. It begins with registration followed by filling the application form and finally, making the online payment of the application fees. Let us look at each section in detail, beginning with registration. To register for Combed K and Uni Gauge E2024, log on to the below mentioned link. If you are a new candidate, go to click here to register button, below the login button. Please note, before filling the form, Kindly read the instruction carefully. Your user ID and password shall be generated only after you fill the required details. Enter your full name, mobile number, and the email ID in the given fields. Make sure that you enter your name exactly as it appears in your 10th standard marks card only. Enter your email ID again to confirm the same. You will receive important communication for Combed K and Uni Gauge 2024 at the email ID that you mention here. Also enter your 10-digit registered mobile number and confirm the same. This number will be used by Combed K and Uni Gauge to send important communication. Click Generate OTP to receive the OTP on your mobile number and email ID. A new window will open with a space to enter the CAPTCHA. Enter it correctly and click Submit. After entering the CAPTCHA correctly, you will receive an OTP on your mentioned mobile number and email ID and you will be prompted to enter the OTP on the registration screen. Click OK to navigate back to the registration screen and enter the OTP. Next, enter the OTP on the registration form and click Validate OTP. If the OTP is correct, you will receive a message that the OTP has been validated successfully. Note, the OTP is only applicable for Indian mobile numbers. After this you will be able to submit the registration form and will receive user ID on your registered email ID and password on the registered mobile number. Next, read the declaration thoroughly, click I agree, enter the CAPTCHA, and click Re-Verify. After clicking Re-Verify, check if the details entered are correct and select the checkbox. If the value displayed is correct, click Submit after selecting the checkbox. You will receive a pop-up alert message. Read the message and click OK to continue. You will be redirected to the Application Summary page. You will receive the user ID on your registered email ID and the password on your registered mobile number. Please note your user ID is your application number. Click Log Out button to navigate to login page. Your registration will be successful when you receive the user ID on your registered email ID and password on your registered mobile number. You will not be able to change your user ID at any point of time. So please save it for future reference. If you forget your password at any time click Forgot Password. Now let's see how to fill the application form. Visit the below link. On the far right corner click Register or Login. Enter the user ID and password that you received during registration and click the Login button. After logging in successfully, you can now proceed with filling the application form and making payment by clicking Go to Application button. Let's look at this process in detail. Before filling the application form, carefully go through instructions provided on the screen. The form is divided into five sections. You must enter your details in all the five sections to complete the application process. Note, all fields marked with an asterisk are mandatory to be filled. Click the tab Applying for and read the note for Engineering and Architecture. Select the exam name, which you are applying for from the drop-down list available in the Applying for. Select the checkbox Yes, if you were allotted any combed K seat in previous years. 
mention the reason for not continuing with combed K, and mention the year of allotment, else select no. Refer to the participating institution for the list of member institutions of combed K and uni gauge and exam brochure for complete exam details. Click Save and Next, and move to Fill Personal Details. In the Personal Details section, enter your personal details such as your name as per government ID proof. The government ID proof should be the same as what you will carry to the exam center. Date of birth, the date of birth should be as per candidate 10th or SSLC marks card. Unique ID proof, unique ID proof number, the ID proof that you select here must be shown in original during the entrance exam and again at the time of admission. ID proof other than what has been declared will not be accepted. Also enter gender, nationality and disability details. The recorded details are visible, as shown here. If you are a person with disability, you need to select Yes for Person with Disability option, and you have to attach the PWD certificate in the Upload button. The certificate should be duly authorized by medical board constituted by central or state government along with all details. Select Yes if you need scribe for the exam. Please note, candidate is responsible for arranging their own scribe. The provision of scribe is subject to approval by Combed K Committee based on relevant documents of the scribe provided by the candidate. Next in the Parents Information section, enter your parents' details such as father's full name, mother's full name and ensure the names you mention here are as mentioned in your SSLC or 10th Marks card or as per the government ID proof of your parents that you will upload. Complete the rest of your parents' information such as father's or mother's occupation from drop-down list, parents' mobile number and their unique ID proof details from drop-down list. Next, in the present address for communication purpose section, enter valid address details where you are currently residing, nearest police station details, your state and district details from drop-down list, city and PIN code, as these will be used for important communication purposes. Select the checkbox Yes if your present address and permanent address are same, else select No. If you select No fill the permanent address details and click Save and Next. Next in the Category Details, read the note properly. In the Category Details select Belongs to from the drop-down list. If you belong to Karnataka, then you have to select Birth or Domicile from the drop-down list. Note, the proof of domicile is only required in case of candidate claiming Kalyana, Karnataka region seats or claiming lower eligibility norms category, that is if a candidate has secured between 40 to 45 percent in 12th or 2nd PUC and belongs to SCR street or OBC category. If you belong to Kalyana, Karnataka region, select yes from the drop-down list. Note, a certificate, confirming the Kalyana. Karnataka region status, issued by the jurisdictional assistant commissioner of the corresponding district is to be submitted at the time of document verification before counseling. The certificate must be in the name of the candidate only. A domicile certificate is also to be submitted. Ensure you procure the KKR and domicile certificate well in advance before start of counseling registration. Click OK. You have to select Kalyana. Karnataka region from the drop-down list. Select category from the drop-down list. If you belong to other backward classes, you need to provide subcategory details from the drop-down list. Next in the academic details, enter your education details such as qualifying exam, board of qualifying exam, name of institution city and state of the institution located. Roll or register number of 10th and 12th marks card and other entrance exam details. Ensure you fill in academic details correctly as these will be used during the time of your admission to your chosen college. Please select qualifying exam from the drop down list. If you select others then you have to fill the other qualifying exam details. If you select qualifying exam as completed. Then you have to select the month and year of passing qualifying exam from the drop-down list. If you select Board of Qualifying Exam as other from the drop-down list, 
then fill the details of other board of qualifying exam. Next, in the Upload Images and Documents option, go through the general instructions carefully. View the sample photo images and sample signature images that are acceptable. Please ensure the images you upload are clear, readable and in vertical position. Else your application can be rejected. In the student documents, you need to upload a scan copy of the following important documents. 1. Applicant's photo. 2. Applicant's signature. 3. Unique ID proof as selected in application form. 4. Applicant's SSLC or 10th Marks card. In the parent's documents you need to upload a scan copy of the following important documents as applicable. 1. Parent's signature. 2. Parent's governing ID proof as declared in the application. And click Save and Next. Next in the Exam City Preferences and Payments option, read the instruction given in the note box carefully. In the Exam City Preferences section, candidates can choose up to five different exam cities. Under each preference, you may select the city where you wish to give your exam from the drop-down list. The test cities are allotted to candidates on first-come first-serve basis. However, ERA Foundation or Combed K reserves the right to allot any other test city other than the city chosen by the candidate. Payment section needs to be filled next. In the application fee details, select the mode of payment online. You must select the check boxes in the declaration, type the CAPTCHA and click Submit to initiate the payment. You are strongly encouraged to preview the complete details of your application by clicking the Preview button. The preview appears in a pop-up as shown. Click OK button to navigate back to the application page. You can make the payment through internet banking and credit or debit card modes. You will be directed to the Pay You Payment Gateway depending upon your selection. After successful payment transaction, you will be redirected to the application summary with your payment transaction number. You will also receive a confirmation email with additional details on successful submission of your Combed K and UniGage 2024 application. The three-step registration process is now complete. For any further queries, please refer to the exam brochure 2024 available on Combed K website. You have successfully completed the video on the process of applying online for Combed K UGET 2024, UniGage 2024. With this, we have come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching.